Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Donahoe from DCS Sales Marketing and uh, just doing another update on Stash. Uh, it's another one that's actually done quite well and it's one I, that I told you about a few months ago and it's really uh, got up there now and, and doing quite well. Another one that I didn't put a lot of money into but I asked uh, big investors to put some money in and they did some uh, good returns on it by following my advice. And I'm not here to brag um, and puff my chest up about it and that. And but I I do get good insights in a lot of actual um, these stocks that are going up. And uh, um, this one is one of them that actually it's called Luck and Coffee, and it's an actual manufacturer of coffee internationally. And it it was around the. The 1% margin a few months ago, um, actually down at one stage, and all of a sudden it just jumped. I mean, it jumped big time, and uh, I just want to show you which one it is. Uh, whether you want to invest in it now, I don't know if it's going to continue to go up or not. I didn't put a lot of money in it myself. I only put $40 in it, and I'm, again, another one I'm kicking myself because I I didn't do it. I invested other... Uh, other shares into um, other stocks I felt that I needed to do was my medical marijuana, which is doing great for me, uh, don't get me wrong, but if I had to put more money into luck and coffee, uh, this has actually done better than my medical marijuana, and I only put $40 in and kept $40 in my retirement, retirement portfolio and pulled out my personal um, portfolio uh, deposit of investment of this uh, luck and coffee and i just want to show you uh with this luck and coffee which kind of like there have been a nice a nice um profit margin going on here so i just want to show you here and and these are the ones i just follow uh when i see them going down and i look at certain things and um do a lot of information on it Robots Rising was one of them that I actually uh, only invested in about probably, uh, I would say, four months ago. And it was not even in the profit margin. But now it's up um, 50.91%. 50, 50 now, understand these are gains. Um, luck and Coffee. Look at Luck and Coffee. I can't believe it. It's 166.19% gain right now. So you can imagine if you put in a decent amount of investment into these uh, um, actual uh, shares or these um, the, the stocks that I've actually told people about when I first started. And I, I just want to show you, like, uh, my Cronus group is up 45.72%. Now, these are great. I mean, these are really great profit margins that are going on here, okay? Uh, if you would go to a, a broker and pay for this, uh, the big companies would be uh, paying these brokers a lot of money for this, but I'm actually getting um, charged for getting this information myself, but I'm giving it away free. And people say, why am I giving it away free? Well, the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to trust me and not only that I have uh, my DCSR's marketing or Greener Day's marketing I've been involved in for 20 years or so as an advertising and promotion consultant and I have my own website with a lot of offers available for people uh, that they can advertise as well. So uh, you can actually put your offers in there as well on my website. Uh, but right now, Stash is the way to go. It's it's killing it right now. now. On a small scale, you don't have to buy anything as far as uh, a full amount of, of a share. Uh, you can just buy even $1 of a share uh, for a big company, you know, and that's what I do. I only start off uh, work my way small and working my way up with my profit when I started with uh, almost $25 I almost have $5,000 um, from my $25 investment. So started off very small, worked my way up in my profit, but then, and it's not looking uh, to go behind. Uh, yes, I did have a problem there when the, 
the um, virus came into effect in March uh, last year. Uh, I lost considerably on a lot, of my, a lot of my investments, but I stayed in there, and now it's the dividends are paying off. And luck and coffee, I mean, look at this, 166.19% for this for this company, luck and coffee. And we'll, we'll just do some information on it about what it is. It's actually a China-based holding company, okay? In coffee retail business, the company applies new retail models for coffee sales and services. The company operates primarily through mobile apps and pickup stores. The company's products mainly include freshly brewed drinks, juices, and light meals. The company's main brand is Luck and Coffee. So it's really, really taken off. I, I actually had um, Dunkin' Donuts here at one stage, and it never, ever got as far as is Luck and Coffee. I mean, if you have a look, uh, a year ago, it was minus, it was down 65%. Over a five-year period, it never made anything. Uh, over the last year, it went down 65%. And in one month, look, it's jumped to 28 In one month, it jumped to 28.59% profit. And in a week, we're looking at a 39.46 gain. Okay? So overall, if you had gone in from the time I, I told you about it, you'd be looking at almost 166% gain, which is nothing to be sneezed at, okay? Um, again, you'll have a look at my, my ones that I recommend. And again, my disclaimer is always, if uh, yeah, um, I don't prove that these are going to make profit, I'm just showing you the ones that I've actually used and utilized that's making profit for me, okay? So luck and coffee, uh, AMD, Another one, AMD, it's up 64%, okay? So these are the profit margins that I'm making on each of these actual shares right now. Apple is 49.72% up. Microchip technology is 37.19% up. A company called Equinox is 24% up. Copy the experts, which is something that you do, that you copy the big boys uh, in different, it's like an ETF, uh, for different companies and you just copy them of exactly what they do and that's up 15.78% right now. Uh, Corning Incorporated is up 29.15%. Akerna Corp uh, is up 95.8%. Small But Mighty is another ETF. Uh, it invests in all the little small shares, um, small stocks and that in a group. So that's up 26%. Blue Chips is up 22%. Stocks Worldwide is up 20%. Long Term Mix is up 18.75%. Another ETF, a Woman Who Lead, is up 18%. Costco itself, uh, the group, is up 21.98%. Erie Pharmaceuticals is up 40%. New Relic Incorporated is up 37%. AR Incorporated is up 30%. And Uncle Sam, it's like stocks and bonds, uh, government. Uh, it's not doing a great deal, but it's it's still up almost 4.29%. So for my $108, I've made a whopping uh, $5, $5 profit. But that could go up at all times. And I'm holding on to that because that's a, more of a secured um, type system plan that I'm holding on to in my actual investment on my portfolio uh, retirement like a 401k. Uh, Arcadia Reality Trust is up 17.9%. Now, Alibaba, this is the one I told you about. Again, it was going back a few months. And I actually, the profit margin of this went right up big time as well. And um, I actually pulled out of Alibaba and took all my profit. And I kept my investment um, in there of what I actually put in there originally and took out my profit. And it's not making a great deal anymore. It's only up 1.91%. I believe that thing's going to go up again. Uh, I don't know when, but um, I'm going to hold on to it because I believe it's going to go up again. And anyway, it's my investment in the first place. So there's no big... I've taken out the profit what I wanted out of Alibaba. So I almost uh, got almost three quarters of my investment back from Alibaba. So... Um, in profit so i just kept my investment in there it was investment of 200 dollars at one stage 
uh, when it gets to 10%, what do I do is take the profit out of it uh, and just keep the investment in. Inflation defense short term uh, was only 4.5%. Now, all the glitters, uh, I decided that I would get into this because it's, a, it's another group for gold and minerals and things like that. Now, it hasn't done a great deal for me, Ben, but I invested $300 into it, and it's only up 0.83%. And um, this is going to be a long-term thing for me for my retirement that I believe that gold will go back up again and uh, silver uh, commodities, it, it eventually will go back up again. And I have two involved in this group, and one's called All That Glitters. Uh, we'll have a look at First Energy Corp is up, 9.2%, Alpha Protec Limited 8.9%, uh, Hershey itself is only up 2%. Park My Cash is another one that's a government thing. Um, it doesn't make a great deal, but over a long period of time, it actually is going to accumulate and continue to actually uh, excel. Uh, Pfizer is the one I was talking about. It hasn't, this is on my retirement on only, I'd put $70 in, but my actually portfolio personal one. I've invested almost 400 in Pfizer. So it's only up on this one at 0.51%. Uh, Vitrus Incorporated, fallback funds. Uh, gold diggers is the one I've decided that I would invest in. And again, it's all in different minerals and things like that as a group uh, that are investing in gold. And it's not doing anything for me right now. But I invested um, $892 into this. And I believe over a long-term period, that's going to do well for me. So that's why I put that amount of money into it, because I believe it's going to go up. So I'm prepared to wait on those. <coughs> Citigroup, uh, that bank group, it'd be a good time to buy in now because it's down. Mine is 19, uh, almost 20% down. So you can't lose a lot of money on that unless it drastically, um, Citigroup drastically starts losing uh, through their shares. Um, I, I really don't know. I'm not going to invest any more money into Citigroup. AMC Entertainment is another one. I invested $50, and this is down 42%. These are the ones I want to show you. They are actually, these are the only ones that are down in my, in my actual uh, retirement portfolio. All the rest, I'm in profit, and and you'll see that everyone here is in profit. So I really haven't lost anything on my retirement, and it's doing quite well for me. Um, the retirement is four thousand six hundred and seven dollars and fifty three cents. So I don't have any money to to that I've uh, sold anything. I'm just keeping it right now and it's at a 29.97 percent advantage okay i did not invest a lot more money into uh my 401k or into the retirement portfolio as i did my personal portfolio uh because i really haven't uh, put a lot of money as far as investing into it i'm just continuing to keep it and working on the profits of the uh whatever the investment is returning for me and just continuing to keep it going. Whether it goes up or down, I don't know, but it's a long-term effect that I have to continue to keep it going with my uh, retirement for a rainy day. So anyway, we're going to go back to my personal. and My personal is $5,121.49 now. And I have a percent change right now and a profit margin of $2,396.00 with a 43.19% profit gain <coughs> overall. Now, when I say this, a 43.19% profit gain, I'm going to show you I'm losing it on a lot of actual shares that I've bought, okay, through these stocks. I'm actually losing, but I'm gaining in profit still. And this is what I want to show you, that you need to continue to get what you can and put more into them uh, to actually make money. And you'll see here, corporate cannabis uh, is the one that's making good money for me right now. It's up 25.29%. So it's starting to uh, accrue, um, escalate for me now, accrue some profit. Uh, you'll have a look that I'm up $282. I've invested $1,119 into, into this uh, stock. 
and I am $282.98 in front with this right now. Uh, it's going to go up. Uh, I believe that wholeheartedly it's going to go up. The average price was $15.58, and actually I've said it before, I only bought this when it was $4 a share, $5 a share, and right now you're looking at a uh, almost $19.52 for each share now, and it hasn't really moved right now, but it's one I'm going to hold on to, and these are the groups, the holdings, in the holdings of the different groups, and if you have a look, Afria is the one that's killing it right now, Afria Incorporated, and you can buy that individually instead of going through this group, uh, or you can look at one that's not really making a great deal at the moment and decide that you want to maybe invest in those, but over a whole, if you go into the actual uh, group of the cannabis group, which is the corporate cannabis, then you're actually investing in all these companies together as a group, as an ETF. Okay, so anyway, with that said, uh, I just have to continue to show you my portfolio. I'm, I'm going to work on this every every couple of days if I can. Uh, I have a couple of days off from work and that I haven't been feeling too good. I have a really bad sinus infection going on right now. Uh, my family actually had COVID-19. My wife has just gone back to work. My son had COVID-19. And it's been in the household and I was tested and I was tested negative, uh, negative, negative, <laughs> negative. Thank God. Praise God for that. Uh, but unfortunately, I have a really bad sinus infection and I'm having a hard time breathing. I mean, uh, I don't know what's going on, but I have to get blood work done and find out what's going on. So uh, at the time, I'm just um, wasting a little bit of time here right now till I have uh, to go and get some blood work done. So anyway, we're looking at the, the, you have to stay with me because I want to show you exactly whether you want to work with me or not. You will see that this is my personal portfolio now that Cronus Group is up 45%. Robots Rising is the one that I was told about for artificial intelligence and I haven't put a great deal of money into it and it's jumped up to 50.91%. So you can imagine if you put $1,000 in there, you've made $500 profit. These per shares... These are per shares, if you'd have put $1,000 in each one, that from the time I told you, there'd be $500 profit on each of these shares or the stock that you bought. So it's not just individually at one time that I'm showing one stock to make 500 bucks. I'm showing you a diversification of a lot of different stocks that I have. So uh, I, I'm going to just imagine right now if you were to put in almost ten thousand dollars and look at look at the just on these three stocks alone, of the profit that you would have made of one hundred and sixty six percent on Luck and Coffee on Robots Rising, you got a fifty percent profit, and Cronus Group is forty five. And I'm not finished yet because I want to show you the ones that continue that, that are making profit for me. But I, excuse me, but I also want to show you the ones that are losing. So if the ones are losing, I'm still gaining. In other words, I have enough stocks that I've actually have with the ones that are making profit to continue to keep me in profit and the ones that are losing are offsetting themselves because of the profit that I'm making from the ones on the top. Okay, so if we have a look at view oil investments, and I just want to show you this, uh, and, and I'm here to, to show you, I'm uh, not to mentor, to, it's, to make your own choice. Do you want to do this or do you not? If you want to do this, work with me. If you don't, that's fine. That's okay. I'm going to get um, uh, doing quite well myself. One way or another, it doesn't matter. And I share my profit with my with my team on my on my Greener Days site, uh, greenerdays.com, and I pay them out. And this is how I pay them out with profit that I gain from my from my different investments. So if you have a look, I mean, this this is just pure profit. Uh, AMD is at 64%. Apple, I'm up at 49.72%. And I'm taking money out of Apple and up and down like a yo-yo with that. And I haven't invested a lot of money into it. Uh, microchip technology, again, at 37.19%. Equinox is up 24%. Uh, Copy the experts, again, these are the ones that actually I have put in for my personal portfolio, and I have these in my retirement portfolio as well. So I'm I'm using them both. I'm running them both with my, but I'm what more of a what you call a bull market technique, 
with my personal portfolio, but my retirement portfolio stays where it is. If it goes down, it goes down. If it goes up, it goes up. But I don't invest a lot of money into the retirement portfolio, uh, but just dribs and drabs of $5 and $10 here just to continue to increase it a little bit. Okay? Uh, but where my bread and butter is, is my personal portfolio, and this has proven the pudding, so to speak, of the profit that I'm gaining out of these these stocks and the shares that I've acquired. So Equinox is up 24%. Uh, the, the proof is in the pudding here, guys. Okay, I've showed you my account. This is it. Copy the Experts is 15.7% up. Uh, Corning Incorporated is 29.15% up. Akerna Corp is up 95%. There's a good one there. Um, again, I pulled out my profit uh, there, and it's still up 95%. Sometimes I kick myself, but... You know, it's up up and down, but I'm keeping that there uh, and hoping it's going to go up. And I'll put $5 here and $5 there. When I see that go back down, I put more money back into it, okay? Small and Mighty, another ETF, uh, 26 blue chips. These ones are ETFs, and I'm keeping in my personal portfolio at $22 uh, profit. Stocks Worldwide is up 20%. Long-term mix is up 18.75%. Woman who lead, again, 18.15% which I showed you in the in the, my retirement portfolio that I actually have them. Uh, Costco, uh, Erie Pharmaceuticals, New Relic, and these ones actually are the same ones that I've actually had in. Actually, you know what? I'm telling a lie here. <laughs> I'm actually in the wrong one. I'm, it should be in my personal. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. I have to start this again. All right. So anyway, let's start this again, all right? Sorry about that, guys. I've been looking at, and right now, my focusing and my concentration is not good right now, and this is why I'm going to get my blood work done and things like that, so I apologize for that. I'm showing you back the retirement portfolio and showing you it all over again. Well, that was stupid, but this is my personal, okay? So you're looking at corporate cannabis, which is where it is, uh, at 25.29%. Apple is up 20%. Moderna is the one that I was telling you about, and I've just gone and invested $500 into this, and it's up 1.59%. I believe it's going to go up. I really do. Okay. Amazon, I have been up and down in that, and it's only up 9% right now. Uh, what I do is I continue to pull my money out, and it, a bull market Amazon. I make uh, $20 here, $30 there when I see a profit because it's almost $3,000 a share and I'm not going to spend $3,000 uh, a share in Amazon and and watch it going up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, what I'll do is I'll wait for uh, I see Amazon go down and I'll put more money into it and then I'll pull my money out, my profit out of it. Accelerated Diagnostics is 16.74% up. Regis Corporation is up 28%. Microsoft is up 13%. Absella Biologics is up 15%. Context Logic is up 8.7%. Social Media Mania is still up 9, almost 10%. Molson Cause is up almost 50%. Acadia Realty Trust is up almost uh, just o over 9%. Pfizer is the one I'm telling you about. I've just invested $400 into Pfizer. And it's only a profit gain right now of 0.88%. But the thing is, it's in profit, so I made $3 so far. And I believe that's going up. That's the one I'm going to recommend. And again, my disclaimer is if you see that I um, have told you something and it does go down, well, that's my disclaimer. I can't guarantee that it's going to stay up. Because if I lose, then you're going to lose too. So I take the risk. It's up to you whether you want to take the risk with me or not. Young Money uh, is up 40%. Angie Home Services is up 18%. Again, these are all profit. BJ Wholesale Club, this actually went uh, four months ago, almost up 75%. I pulled out all my profit out of that and um, reinvested in it again, and now I'm only up at a 6.4% gain from the profit that I had originally, but it takes it and starts all over again from when you take everything out and then you if you deposit back in again it won't be up at that 50 
eight percent gain it'll be only what this is what you actually gained at that time because you already got that profit previously okay so right now it's continued to go up by 6.4 percent so i have that in there up and coming is up 24 percent small but mighty 23.9 percent twitter i invested 50 dollars in twitter that's been going up and down i believe that's going to continue to go up twitter uh it's only made a 5% gain right now, but if you have a look over a period of time, in five years, it's been 23.91% up. In a year, it's gone up almost 51% in a year of Twitter. Uh, it went down over the last month of 10.97. This is why I got into it, okay? So it went down from that 50% up. It went down 10%. So it's really 40% still up, but at that period of time, it's down percentage wise okay so now it's gone back up if you have a look so if you had to come in a month ago at 10.97 percent down look now it is 8.16 percent up so that would be an 18 percent gain on twitter that you would have actually made a month ago if you had to come in because it was 10.97 percent down so now she's 8.16 percent and it's another one i told you about uh, a few months ago get into twitter and there you go there's profit there's your profit margin right there with twitter so i'm not here to falsify anything here i'm just here to show you that these are actually making gains but i want to show you the ones that i'm losing on because this in fact you'll see the gains here of 4.98 percent and these are the gains that are actually offsetting my losses okay uh, 17.25%, 12.89, 12.8. Park My Cash is another one which is government related. Uh, it's not making a great deal. I pull out $2, $3 here now and again of my... I did have $300 invested in it, but I pulled out profit and I only have $289 now. Inflation Defense, Adobe is another one. We all know what Adobe is. Uh, I actually just invested in that about a week ago, I think and uh put fifty dollars into it or no i think i actually put uh what did i put forty five dollars into it anyway it's four percent up so match the market is 21 percent up global usd bonds bank is four percent up catalyst pharmaceuticals is 8.19 at and i invested in a little bit of that because uh, i bought something on my actual uh, stash card and they gave me stocks for that with an investment of $28 so um, it's only up 5% but I'm holding on to these because I believe they're going to go back up JJ Snacks is up 6% now you have a look that I'm not making a lot of money on these and I believe these are the ones that are going to go up for me okay AgroFest Solutions is only up 1.31% I believe that's going to get up to the 10% I really do International Bonds is another ETF uh, government backed uh, american finance trust uh is 6.7 percent up 13 point home depot home depot uh, this is my profit i only put a little bit of home depot and again i bought something uh with home depot and i, I have stocks on it because of it um lamb western holdings is up five alpine come income and you wouldn't even know what these companies are so you'd have to look out for them and see what they are. McDonald's itself, I had money in McDonald's and this is just my profit that I just kept in there for the heck of it. Uh, when I see it go back down, I'll invest another $50 back into McDonald's. Uh, but right now, that's just money sitting there because it's pure profit that just sitting there for McDonald's to, to start making a dollar here and a dollar there. If it's going up by percentage-wise, okay? So all these, by using all these different stocks, and buying these shares, you put yourself in front, not behind. Okay, so you're looking, even though they're only small amounts, but they're they're putting me in front of 6.92%. If you added all these together, then it'd be a nice little account there of what's going on. Uh, Aurora Cannabis is the one that was actually in the um, ETF of the corporate cannabis, but I decided I would check it out personally, and I actually have invested in that. Odon Therapeutics, actually, that was did really good. I pulled out all my profit and left uh, my investment and left the profit in that was in there uh, and just keeping that 
keeping those there just for something to keep them open to see what they're doing. And when I see them go down, I don't care about losing $6. It's no big deal. But if I see that going down, down, back into the negative, then I invest another $50, $100 into it, okay? Because I made profit on it in the first place. Asset management, financial asset, Mark Financial is 2%. DuPont, this is another one that's just something I um, invested and it gave me uh, some stocks in that. And they sent me out a whole <laughs> um, portfolio uh, that would cost more even than my stocks of DuPont, believe it or not. And uh, thinking I'm a big shareholder, which I definitely aren't in DuPont. Now, cannabis pharmaceuticals, uh, fresh Del Monte produce. Again, all percentages, small margins, but they are up, Dollar General. Walmart. Uh, I believe Walmart's going to go back up. I've been playing with Walmart up and down like a yo-yo, investing and pulling out, investing and pulling out, investing and pulling out. And I just invested when it went down. I had $20 in it in my profit, and uh, it went down, and I just invested another $50 into it. So I believe that's going to go up. So once that goes up again, I'll pull out again. Uh, so that's what I do, bull marketing on a small scale. American National Bank shares are up 1.9%. Big business bonds, 57 Foreign heavyweights. If you ever heard of these, I don't know if you had. Merck is another one that's actually pharmaceutical and was in the uh, contention for the for the uh, COVID-19 uh, vaccine as well, Merck. And I... That's my profit in there right now. I only put $20 in there. I took out $2. I made $2 profit and I kept $18 and so and so in there. Anyway, do the right thing. Alphabet is something that was just put on my stash card. Uh, you'll have a look now. These are very, very small profit margins of 1.1%, whatever. Again, you'll see because there's got such a small amount in there, that's the profit that I'm just continuing to keep in there to let it work for itself and waiting for that to really go back into the negative so I can put a decent amount of money back in it. So fallback funds. All right, now this is what I want to show you. This is when I'm starting to go down, okay? This is the proof of the pudding, okay? Uh, I'm losing. I'm losing on stocks, and I believe they're going to go up. Number one uh, in gas, Marathon Petroleum. This, again, it's only $0.17. Cents. It was something that was put in from... I. I filled up with uh, at Mar Marathon Petroleum at one time and it gave me 17 cents, a whopping 17 cents. But luckily I haven't put a lot of money into it because it's minus 17%, but it's only 17 cents that I have in it. So no big deal. Fallback funds, I have invested $24. It's down 0.26%. Sunoco is another one I actually invest and in, go and get my gas on my stash card and I've invested a dollar and 44 cents. Uh, with the kind of incentives of using the card, you get stock back on the card of Stash. So it's down. It's not a lot of money there or whatever. American Dividends Mid-Cap, I decided I'd just invest in $50 there because I believe that's going to go up, American Dividends Mid-Cap. AutoZone uh, was one that I'm going to continue. I believe that's going to go back up. Uh, Roku, I've actually pulled out my profit in that, and now it's gone down. Uh, I actually had um, a profit margin there of about 20 bucks. so uh, sorry, um, investment of that, and I left $10.28 in profit and just playing with that to see what's going to happen. Uh, UPS is one that I believe is going to go back up. It's going up and down like a yo-yo. And I'm investing more money into UPS and $215 invested into that. And I'm down right now on that. So once that goes back up, then my portfolio, personal portfolio, will go back up again in, in value. Uh, Algoni Corp, these are all the ones I have to show you that are actually losing money. And these are the ones you really should get into. Uh, from over a month, Algoni Corp, you'll have a look in five years. It was five years. It was up in a year. It's gone down 25 percent in a month it's gone down another 215 but if you had a border in a year and it went down 2.15 percent you'd actually made a 20 percent gain on it uh but from 
it's down 2.15%, okay, in one week, it's down 3.49%. So you're looking at, an, right now, an 8% loss overall. So it could be one to, to look for, to start putting money into. Uh, again, you you take the gamble on some of these things and you do your studying and, and look at your graphs and have a look and see if you think it's going to continue to go down or it's going to go up. So anyway... If we continue to go on, you'll see these are all losses now. Uh, UPS is a loss. Algorni Cops are a loss. Uh, Ambev SA. I invested $20 into these, okay, and they didn't make any money. They were down at the time, so I invested $20, but they haven't arisen and gone back up yet. I believe that will change. I believe that these are things will go up, okay? I, I, I believe they're... Sooner or later, they're going to go up. I invested $20. Uh, I, that's profit from Uber because Uber actually went back up. Now it's gone back down again, but I've kept my $20 profit in there just to play around with it, see how it's going. Again, Penn National Gaming is another one. I invested my profit in there and just continue to keep it going because it went up in a year. It was 291% up, okay? And I didn't come in there at that time. I came in there a month ago and when it was... 15.58%, I, I return, had a return of 15.58%. I pulled out my profit, and now it's gone down. That 15%, it's actually gone down. Penn National Gaming now has gone down, and I've kept my money in here. You'll have a look now. It's down. The average price is $104, and you can buy it now for $99, okay? So you can buy it for $99, uh, I'm waiting for it to go down more, and I'm going to put in one chair. I'm going to buy one chair, uh, $100, and see how it goes again. That's what I'll do. And with my profit, I will sell what I have in here in profit so I can use that profit to buy something else that is down to bring it back up. Does it always work? No, I can't guarantee that it will always work. But again, you'll see I have that many um, stocks running here that actually I, I offsetting my losses with my profits. Okay, you continue to look at all these ones I want to just show you right now are losing at four percent, minus six percent, minus seven percent, minus uh, Domino's. Uh, Minus almost five percent. You will lose on stocks, okay? You will. You ain't gonna win on everything, okay? But eventually, we'll turn around and come back to the profit. The thing is, do you have enough profit in your investment and in your portfolio to be able to cover the losses that you're that you actually um, uh, are in your portfolio that your profit will overcome the losses? This is the thing. Again, this is almost 14% down. This is 16% down. This is one 16% down, 10% down. American Airlines, I wouldn't recommend getting any airlines right now. That's 52.51% down. But overall, actually, you know what? You could make a profit on that now. Let's see. It's a 40% a year ago. It's 40% down. It's actually gone up in a month, 1% up. So from the 40% down, it's gone to 1% up. So that's almost, if you had a, a year ago when it went down at 41%, you'd have 40% gain, okay? So we're looking at 1% there, and it's gone back down again. So you have a look. It's not really getting anywhere, but it could be one that maybe put some money into it to see how it's going to go. Uh, I don't know how the airlines are going to go right now. I really don't because of uh, uh, restrictions and a lot of things. It's not going to shut all the planes down. It's just a lot of restrictions that are going on. Uh, sorry. The other ones I just want to show right now, you saw the American Airlines at 52.51% down. Advantage Solutions, that's 12.6%. Invested $50. I believe that's going to go up. Uh, I invested $50 in First Constitution Bank Cop. It's minus 13% down. I'm going to continue until these go back up in profit. XL Mobile, again, gas is not doing good, 36.5% down. At that time, 
when I put my money in. But understand, these can change. If you decide that you would now start putting money in at 36.5% at a loss, then if that goes up by percentage, then you're making profit. I can't make profit because I originally came in when it was at 23% down. So if it was at 23% down and it has not gone up 23%, then I would definitely have not made profit on it yet. But over a month period, you can see it went up 13.99%. So in a year's time, even though it was down 23%, it went up 13.99%. So you would actually be profiting 13.99% in that month if you had to continue to go with it. But now, if you have a look, it's gone back down 6.1%. So it's back down, which means that if it gets down to 13%, then the possible chance is it can go back up again, so you actually can make money on it. I personally can't make money on it because I'm almost 36% down on it because I came in at the wrong time, okay? But I don't have a lot of money invested into it. That's the difference. Uh, when I see that uh, more profit is made on my other ones, I might throw th- throw in another fifty dollars to see how that runs, and just wait for it to come back into profit. So that's how I do it, guys. All right. Um, what I've been told and how I've been told to work it. My uncle, my uncle was very successful in Australia on uh, stocks and shares, and he showed me how to do it. And I'm only starting myself over a year period or maybe a year and a half ago when I started this myself on a small scale just to see how things would go and I'm quite pleased with the way things are going even though my portfolio was kind of small at the time uh, it's growing uh, quite well a lot faster than what if I would be putting money in the bank Uh, I'm prepared to invest my money in it continue to do it uh, again in life you're not going to get anywhere unless you invest in yourself. Uh, you need something in the long term. You need something that's going to be able to, to appreciate in value and not depreciate, obviously. Uh, 401ks would do that. They're designed to do that, that they actually make profit for you over a period of time because of what you're actually continuing to push into them to continue to keep them compounding over a period of time. Stocks and shares are a little bit different. They can go up and they can go down. But the thing is, there's a lot of profit that I pulled out of this, even though my portfolio account looks at it's only at five thousand or fifty one hundred dollars. In actual fact, it's almost ten thousand dollars because I pulled out five thousand dollars profit of it. So anyway, that's the way it goes. All right. So uh, again, uh, sorry this is long or whatever, but I just want to show completely this uh, the reality of stocks and shares of how it goes. Uh, they can they be volatile? Well, not as volatile as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is so volatile, it's not funny. Um, to catch it and to catch the profit, you can make a great deal of money on it, but it's so volatile. I I, I just continue to run through my, my Bitcoin and bit currency of other ones there. I actually pulled out of Bitcoin. It was too much money for me to stay into because I lost a lot of money out of it. And... Um, I missed the bull run and the the rush. Uh, I'll wait for it to go back down to 20,000 or something like that. If it continues, they reckon it could get up to 150,000 by the end of next year. Uh, that would be quite incredible if it did that. But they believe the Bitcoin. Um, there's other ones right now that I have my money invested in. And uh, they're starting to move up too. So anyway. It's the way it is. If you want to work with me, great. If you don't, God bless you anyway. Um, Just give me this information on here. Uh, Subscribe to my channel. uh, Comment, whatever you want. Say you want to work with me. If you want to work with me uh, through Stash, I'll send you a personal referral and uh, give you my recommendations and see where we go from there. Okay? Steve Donahoe from DCS Sales Marketing. Thank you guys for your time. Bye.